and tougher defenses are going to be faster and bigger and throw different things at him? Where does he need to, to go? As is always the case, we just got to play pitch and catch when it's there. We got to have, uh, as windows close more quickly, whether it's man coverage or zone coverage, we have to have even better ball location. So I'd say that's the number one improvement he needs to make. He's talked about you know trying to be more accurate with those things. Is that mental? Is it physical? Is it still kind of just trying to get timing down with the receivers? I think timing to a certain certain degree. Uh, again, we were trying to fix some stuff up physically, but overall, it's a matter of time. I know he's kind of even keel, doesn't. Kind of keeps the same demeanor, but have you guys really tried to push him this weekend? Have you seen him respond? Well, we're we're always pushing him, uh, and you're right. He always um, he is even killed, and that, that's what we want. We want our guys to to never be too high nor too low. So he does a good job of, of, of having a, a solid temperament about him. Uh, but we're we're always on him to improve, and, and he has that mentality too. So it's not like we have to push him that hard. Mike, I know the third down is always an emphasis for you guys, yes. but particularly this week. As there's so much talk about keeping Oregon's offense off the field. I mean, you've seen the guys taking the, the strides there that they need to to become more effective on third down. Yeah, it, it's it's a matter of focus for us all the time, but you're exactly right. Um, with uh, Coming off the game last week, we, we weren't very efficient on, on third down, particularly in the first half. We, we need to do a better job. I need to do a better job of putting the guys in the right position and, and, and uh, making sure that we execute. How much of that is still Justin is experiencing a lot of those third down situations for the first time? I, I don't, you know, it, again, it, it, I, I don't want to place blame on any one individual. Again, it, right. ultimately it falls on me, uh, but there, there's a lot that goes into it. You know, we, we had some situations on Saturday where, uh, whether it was penalties or, or whatnot, where we didn't, didn't execute. And the bottom line is we need to execute in those situations uh, to beat the caliber team we're going to be playing this weekend and beyond into the season. So, so when you say you have to do a better job, what specifically do you need to do better for the offense on third well, down? Well, you know, when it comes to third down, it's about it's about a number of things. Number one, uh, getting the ball in, into the playmaker's hands. Number two, again, you, ideally you, you'd like to be in the perfect call. Is that always going to happen? No. Okay, so so if it's not the perfect call, then we got to put the playmakers in a position to make those plays. So, uh, again, whether it's... It, 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 it's dialing up different guys' numbers or uh, putting them in more favorable matchups and then ultimately falls on me. How do you balance controlling the ball and running the ball and still trying to make big plays to down the field? It's it's something we stress all the time. Uh, again, going back this, this past weekend, we had, I want to say, four or five explosive plus 16 passes. Uh, and we had five uh, explosive runs of, of plus 12 of them. Uh, five total explosive plays of, of plus 20. So we stress to our guys, again, to be a playmaker, you have to do more than what the play is designed for. Make the difficult catch. Jump over a defender to, to, to make the catch. Make a guy miss in space. Break a tackle, whatever it is. And that's usually what results in explosive plays. It's not necessarily throwing the ball 50 yards downfield and, and completing those bombs. It's, it's, it's a matter of, of, of athletes doing the exceptional, uh, usually, before that, that 20 yard mark. How challenging is that against this defense? Though? They're very quick, they're very athletic, and, and particular, particularly in the secondary, they're very good tacklers. So uh, that, is, that is a challenge. They've done a great job. I think last year they were number one in the country in taking the ball away uh, and creating turnovers. And, and this year they've continued uh, along the same pattern. They, they, they do a great job of, of getting takeaways early, putting their offense in favorable, favorable positions. So we've been stressing, as it always is the case, we've been stressing ball security. Uh, and, and not digging a hole like that. What sticks out about the pass rush from what seen on film? It's not a lot of sacks as well. Well, they, they, they have great length in their defensive front. And they do a great job of, of block destruction, whether it's in the run game or the pass game. So uh, they have their, their defensive ends are 6'7". I don't know. They're tall. Let's put it that way. And they have long arms, so they, they, they can separate from offensive linemen and, and, and create a rush. They're, they're very talented up front. Schematically, they bring pressure from a lot of different directions, so they, they, they can cause you some headaches and protections. How well does this Tennessee team change tempos from the green light to the yellow light to the red light? We, we've done a good job of changing tempos. Uh, and, and again, we, we monitor that uh, quite a bit throughout the course of the game and then obviously post game. And, and uh, we've executed whether we're checking plays at the line of scrimmage or going fast. Uh, we've done a good job of kind of pushing the gas pedal and, and uh, stepping on the brakes. How important will the tempo be in this game? Well, tempo's a huge part of our offense, and, and, and a very, you know, it's very important at all times. So whether it's Oregon or whether it's West Kentucky or Austin P, we're, we're emphasizing that we want to play with enough tempo. Do you anticipate the noise level at the stadium affecting your guys' tempo with so many players being young, trying to get lined up? It, it, mildly, you know, the, the noise level uh, causes you to do some stuff procedurally 
outline, communicate procedurally that, that will slow you down a hair, but, but the reality is we, we still aim to, to move up-tempo and, and uh, keep the defense on their heels with, with, with how quickly we play. Butch has been pretty candid about challenging the mental toughness of the team. All what have you seen specifically on the offensive side of the ball? And how much, because of the, the noise and other factors, will that be tested this week? Well, we responded today. I was happy to see that, uh, especially coming off yesterday's practice. We challenged them to come, come out today with an even greater focus to, to execute and perform the techniques and mechanics that we asked them to, to perform. Uh, so, again, from Tuesday to Wednesday, it, it's been a big jump, and we'll continue to make that jump into Thursday. Uh, but I'm happy that, you know, these guys, they won. They want to be coached. They want to be challenged, and, and they're they're a good group, good group of kids, and, and uh, I like being around them. And, and, and when they're hungry for that type of um, for that type of process, where they want to improve on a daily basis, it makes our job a little bit easier. Just a couple more guys. Next, about the tight end H back position, you have what Brandon is asked to do as far as lining up in three different spots, different plays. How mentally and physically taxing is it to find someone that, that's a good fit for that role? Well. It, not very mentally taxing. The, the, the system is pretty easy to learn. Uh, the question becomes, does he have the skill set to execute at all those different positions? And, and he's, he's a pretty talented athlete and, and c can perform in all those positions. So, uh, you know, if, if it's maybe a lesser athlete, then, then you limit their role maybe out in space or something like that. But Brendan does a good job in all the different alignments he has to, to you, play. You guys have